Yes. What'd you get? That's so good. What? What do you want? Give it to Kawhi. Kawhi, take us to the top side. Take us to the top side. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 please. This one, buddy. Is everything okay? Can you hand me the killer? <laughs> this is where I take hat. It's always next year. Don't worry. Okay guys, welcome back to V-Vlogs. Um, I didn't talk a lot during this recordings, so I just decided to do like a voiceover. Uh, yeah, so the Raptors won the 2019 NBA Championship. And this was what happened the night that we won the final game, like we actually carried the trophy. So I think the game, the last game was in like the other person's court. I'm not really sure of the name. So... You know what, I don't know what I'm saying. But anyways, um, this is what happened the night we won. We walked around, everyone was going crazy, climbing things, as you can see. There are people everywhere, literally everywhere, on top of everything. If your car is there, they're going to be on top of you. If you're not careful, they're going to climb on you also. So, like, these guys were going crazy, fireworks, everything. There were even horses on the streets. I don't know where the hell the horses came from. But I saw the horses. Look, there's a dinosaur there so it was really loud this was like around 2 a.m mind you though like it was literally 2 a.m and you could had no choice but come out because everyone was making so much noise so you can't even sleep look at these guys i don't know how they got there that's a tt no that's a stop that's a stop <laughs> how this guy got here only god knows look at this guy oh who's granddad oh my god yeah, but everyone was lit and like in the morning I went for the parade. So this is just what a recap of what happened. Like,
Hi guys, um, I am getting ready to go for the parade celebration and it has to be square. But honestly, I'm pretty sure we won't still get any space, although the celebration actually starts at, I don't know if I'm holding this one. The celebration actually starts at like uh, 9. But from my reading, I can already see people there. Yesterday night, there were already some people there waiting. Why are these guys that tent for hours? Like, what's wrong with these guys? Anyways, um, yeah, we're getting and go for the parade. And we're gonna see what we can see. It took me forever. But I am now ready. Oh my god, honestly guys, honestly. Oh, you can't see anything. Did you see these people already? Let's see, let me try it for the next. You see them? Already nesting there, oh my god. But anyways, we're on our way now to Nathan Phillips. So, let's go. Oh uh, yeah, right now I'm just like eating center, waiting for Demi. So I was thinking of Demi. Listen to the best song in the whole entire world. Boom, right there. Anyways, I was waiting for Demi, got my mix gone out. Oh, fun fact, even I was using my employee discount, even like six months after. But yeah, now they cut it off anyway, so now they pay full price. Full price, whatever. Yup, that's your boy Demi coming in with his <laughs> Raptors drip. This is the number one Raptors fan. Raptors super fan. This is the guy that should be on the sixth floor. Not the other guy. Comes with his Raptors colors every day. He's bouncing his stupid ass big head. What is he saying? I promise you, I'm as confused as he. I don't know where he's pointing to. To me, I don't even know this guy. I just met him. He's a full Raptors fan. Do you want to let me have on? <laughs> yeah, I just want to quickly go over the itinerary while I'm walking to the scene. So I can't find the picture now, but like there was a post on Six Box where they posted like the itinerary. What am I saying? Six Box posted the itinerary of the parade. So I can't remember what it was, but I just know that 9 a.m. was when they started at Prince Gates Boulevard and then they moved down to Nathan Phillips at 12 30. That was the suggested itinerary. We got there early, per se, like 8, 801 or 802, and that's when we were here, right behind the Toronto sign. So all the way down to the stage is just people, people left, right, center. I didn't know there were this many basketball fans, but there are people everywhere. <laughs> It's like 10.50, 10.10. 10.50, 10.06. We still have about two hours till they get here. But it's calm though. I don't know who this guy is, but like, he turned around and was waving. Everybody was like, hey! But he stopped just as I started recording, of course. Guys were playing cards out here to show you how long they were waiting. This sign was really funny. <laughs> like, who comes up with things like this? It's huge, also. So obviously, it covered my view. Yo, know, every time I go for a public event and I see these military people here, God forgive me, but I always think of White House down and the rest. I'm just like, please, Lord, <laughs> please. It's now what? Uh, 11:05. We've been chilling now for like three hours now, bro. Oh my God. You said a long time ago that Toronto would have a championship, that Toronto would win. I'm not sure how many people had that same belief at that time, but they shrink you down. Tell me about this team of resilience and this team that never ever gave up. Uh, hey, these guys are all doing good. It's all about the players and the coaches. They put everything out there on the court. And, uh, it was great. 
to see them. I work for a great organization and great owners. Um, it's such a huge opportunity. This man is really taking a phone call on the arc. Like no, like you usually had to climb the arc to get service. Wow. I don't really blame you, bro. We all wanted a better view. Thumbs up to you too. It's now 12. 12 3 to be exact. And there is still no one. Yeah, of course, of course people are going to join him. Like, when would you ever do anything crazy and be the only one that is doing that? That's not possible. This guy is like, what the f <laughs> How did he get there? Oh my god. God, <laughs> look, this was in three seconds. I'm not even joking with you. Like, I literally sat down, I blinked, and I sat back up, and this is what I saw. Everyone's on the arc. Now what? What's the time? What's the time? Twelve forty-five, and this man's are still not here. Everybody good? Are you with me, Toronto? We still want you to be alive. We just want you to please be careful. So be alive. Make sure you're not touching. Enjoy the time. Does it sound like? No, but everyone cheers, medic. Medic's not gonna know where to go. Yeah, at this point, I'm just done. I'm literally just done. It's like 1 a.m. 1 p.m. No one's here. It's hot. I'm wearing a damn sweater. I'm hungry. <laughs> Bruh. chilling with an amazing view honestly i'm pretty sure these guys all told their boss they're going to the washroom
Okay, yeah, at this point, I was really hungry. It was like 2.30 or like 3. And I was like, you know what? I've, not, I've really already had cereal in the morning. Like, I'm really fucking hungry. So I left where I was, and I was on my way to the eating center. And I saw literally people everywhere. Congratulations. And I ran into whatever this is. Look, how did these guys get here? Really? How did they climb on that thing? That is glass. Do you know that is glass? They're going to fall through. That is glass. Oh my god. Anyways, I was at the best joint in Toronto. Bro, if you need pretzels, pretzel dogs, anything, this is the joint to be at. It's an eating center. Get your pretzel dogs. It's expensive though, but like, it's fire. Boom! Pause. Let me just quickly explain what happened here. So I got my pretzel dogs and I was walking back and I was trying to get back to my old spot, but obviously, as I already imagined, it was impossible to get back to where I was with like Damien and friends. So I just like tried to go around. And next thing I hear, a bunch of people running towards a certain direction and of course i don't know what you thought but of course i am going to follow them like we are all going to go for a run today and when we all arrive as a happy family we'll have a good discussion of why we are running but lo and behold it's the parade bus so it was actually a good thing i followed these guys <laughs> Um, yeah, so he runs the parade bus. And Becky, if you don't get your phone out of my face. Anyways, who are all these guys on the buses? Like, how do I get there? Like, do I have to, like, apply or what? Like, how do I get on that bus? Boom! My main man, Drizzy. This is because my calls anymore, but whatever. More people that said they are going to the washroom. Oh, their boss is there, never mind. <laughs> people I saw and I was like peace I'm out of here it was hot my legs were killing me <laughs> guys I'm back at my place now I am so tired my legs are killing me but apparently there was a shooting thank god i left early like immediately after i got my videos i was like bro i'm tired i've been here for what, six plus hours so i was like i'm dipping 
And this guy comes back to let me know that there was a shooting. Two shootings even. And a stampede, right? Yeah. And a stampede. So, I don't know. Thank God. <laughs>